Hey there, it is July 7th. It is Thursday. I had a lovely day yesterday. It was my birthday, in case you weren't sure. <laughs> I very much enjoyed putting birthday hats on myself and all my thumbnails. And we had a really wonderful impromptu live stream last night when I hit 500 subscribers during Rank's stream, thanks to a shout out. Uh, last I checked, I'm at 519, which is so fabulous. So thank you so much. Welcome to my new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying my content. Um, if you didn't catch the stream, it was very sudden. I announced it about five minutes before we actually had it and it was late at night for a lot of you. So those of you who stayed up to uh, hang out with me, that's very cool. Thank you so much. Uh, we had a Q&A session and then we played some GeoGuessr and then I did a Sudoku. So if you want to check out the VOD, that should be there for you. Uh, learn almost anything you would want to know about me <laughs> in that Q&A. People asked some really nice questions. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So check that out if you haven't. Um, join us on Discord to uh, hang out and chat. Um, my channel is there. The invite link is in the description below. And um, if you are so inclined, I have a Patreon. You can join for as little as a dollar a month at the Explorer tier, which is $5 a month. You get access to additional bonus content, but everyone who signs up gets some bonus content and there are I think two free things that you can see as well. So you can go over and check that out, see if it's something that interests you. Um, we're looking for that magic number now, 1000. That's when YouTube lets you monetize. That's when I get to open up memberships. I know people have been asking about that, which thank you for wanting to join. That's really lovely. Um, so the Patreon's there in the meantime and the Patreon will stay up. But uh, what I will probably do is when I do get to a thousand and get monetized, I'll have um, the same perks for members and Patreons. So if you want to stay on Patreon, you can do that. If you want to switch over to a YouTube membership, that would be fine too. I think I'll do it. You know, they'll be parallel. Um, but that's still 471, 481. I can, I can math uh, away. So tell your friends. Uh, but leaving those likes and comments, that really, really helps. That uh, that tells YouTube to keep serving up my videos. And so if you're here because you I popped up in your shorts feed or or it was a recommended video, thank you for clicking through. Really appreciate it. My click-through rate's pretty good actually. Um, so that's that's encouraging. Uh, let's play some let's play some word games. I think that's what you're all here for. Um, today is Thursday. Thursday we play Wordsy and Symbol. So let's do that. So we'll start with the symbol today. Uh, oh, by the way, yesterday I did a huge video. I played, it was like 40 minutes. I played lots of games, I think six games, including symbol. So if you missed that, you should go check that out. There are um, chapters in the description so you can jump to whatever games interest you, but I had a lot of fun recording an extra large video for my birthday. But today we're back to the normal, regularly scheduled programming. So what shall we start with for symbol today? How about, let's see. We're celebrating 500 subscribers. So it's like a milestone. Let's do stone for milestone. I like to start symbol with a word that has five unique letters, if possible. It reduces confusion. So now we want to know if the moon is yellow or green. I mean, it's green, but is it green? Um, so what I do is I get another word that is this, I'm going to repeat the T in the second position, but otherwise do four new letters if I can. So that could be a little bit challenging. How about, as it's tough to precede a T. Another option is to check if it's yellow, but then I have to choose from four letters to put there. It's a lot easier to test one. So. Ad, uh, agile, agile doesn't have a T second and it repeats the E in the wrong place. But otherwise, it's a really good choice. I was thinking atoll, but if O is in fact second, I won't know it. How about um, I could do attic? Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, that's all all grays. So the green moon is yellow, which means S, O, N, or E is the second letter. So let's try O second, and we need all new letters besides. 
So I'm thinking something like quirky. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Okay, so it's not O, but I did find two more letters that apply. That's really interesting. I wonder what those two letters are. I'm betting one of them's an R. I wonder if it ends in R Y then. Like berry. Okay, the R is correct. Oh, not Y. Of course not Y. The R is correct, though. I'm not doing this very well. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, stop and think. R could end in R-K. The E is not the second letter either. So the next obvious one is the S, I guess, or the N. If it's N, what's the first letter? Usurp. It's usurp. Yes. Okay, that I pulled out of nowhere. I don't even know how that popped into my head. But I was thinking, what can come before N? And I was thinking, oh, it could be UN. And then I was like, wait, but if it's got an R... What comes after the R? And I was like, huh, it could be a P. Anyway, that was pretty cool. I think I think that was pretty good in the end. Attic maybe wasn't a great guess. Porky maybe wasn't a great guess. But it all all led me to the information that I needed. And that's that's really what you have to do in symbol is let it lead you to the information you need. Okay, so let's play Wordsy. Now in Wordsy, uh, I'm gonna just do the two, and if it goes quickly, I'll do four. But probably just stick to the two. Um, Stay tuned. I don't know until you do. <laughs> um, again, I like, I'm going to start with stone again. That's a pretty, pretty good starting word. Um, and in Wordsy, we're told how many yellows and greens are in the word, but not which letters are yellow or green. So we have to figure that out. So what I like to do is start with three words that use, end up with 15 unique letters. Um, preferably get all the vowels in there, but you don't, if you don't, that's not the end of the world. So how about child? And um, that might have not have been a great choice. Uh, I suppose "framey" is a word. No, <laughs> worth a try. I didn't think this through. Gravy. Gravy is perfect. Okay. So I didn't use the U, but I used the other vowels. And look at this. I've got, because I know these are 15 unique letters, I know that I have all five letters of the word in these three words. So if I can figure out which letters they are, and none of them are in place, they're all yellow. So if I can figure out which letters they are, then I'm golden. So let's see what might work. It could end in SH or TH. Maybe ESH or, no, if I use S or T, I can't use any of the other letters from stone. And the third letter isn't any of these vowels. And I know I don't get any other vowels, so I don't think, well, let's see, it could be like A-R-S-H. No, not A-R, I-R-S-H. Yeah. Well, I need, yeah, and then I need one more from child. That would have to be L or D, and that doesn't work. What if it ends in C-H? R-C-H, it could be A- or A-T-C, oh, A-T-C-H, latch. I bet it's latch. I'm going to double check. So I have C-H and L from child. I have A from gravy and T from stone. That looks pretty good. It is not right. It was possible, but it's incorrect. All right. So I wonder which letter is correct. That's very interesting. So it's not, it's not T-H, it's not C-H. Still could be S-H. Oh, but the H isn't at the end. So that's just wrong. Interesting. Okay. Uh, that was an unexpected outcome, and now I'm a little bit stumped. 
<laughs> what if it ends in, I like to sort of think about what it can end in. Sometimes that helps build the word backward. Could end in R. Could end in ER. So if it ends in ER, I need three letters from child. Like, see, that doesn't really work. Because I would need the I. What if it ends in, what if it ends in AR? No, it can't end in AR. I only get one from gravy. I'm not seeing any way to end in R. Unless it ends in IR? I don't think so. What about EL? A C E L. No, I'm not seeing that either. Hotel? No, that would have two in latch. No, it would have three in latch. Too bad it fits. Oh, no, it doesn't. It would have two from stone. Wow. Okay, just, just throw that one away. That's not useful. What if it ends in IC? Logic. Logic. No, the L would be in the same place and it would be green. Darn it. I'm sure I had it. All right, well, let's come over here, because I placed a letter over here. I don't really know which one it is, though. But I could do a test. Like, it could be the H, and it could be ending in TH. So I'm going to try that. Let's try this. I'm actually going to color it so I can see what I have to work with. Okay, so I need one from Gravy. Oh, I have no vowel unless it's a U. Or the Y. Hmm. Probably not then. Okay. Probably not. So let's take the A. And work from there. So I need one of the other letters from latch, not the L first. It doesn't have to be first. So the first letter, I mean, the first letter could be a new letter. I don't think I know enough yet. I'm going to come back here. There's got to be, I mean, the word is here. I don't need any new letters. I'm almost tempted to try something. Like. Like maybe it's not going to start with SH because this would be green. But maybe like ASH. No, that would be two from latch. This is tough. Three from child is throwing me too. Like, which three? <laughs> if it's not CH, I wonder if I need the I then. L I D? Valid, except that's two from gravy and none from stone, and it ends in D. But otherwise, it's great. L I D. Well, then I would need 
A or T. Hmm. It wouldn't be able to be. No, if it's L I D, then I can't use A or T either. I mean, I'm seeing these letters. That's not a word. <laughs> Is there an anagram of that that's a word? I mean, riled, but it can't end in D. I'm almost tempted to try that, actually. Oh, okay, so I've got four of the letters now, but all out of place. That is unexpected. Huh. So probably the E is right. Probably the L? So I'm wondering if those four are correct and the R is wrong. In which case, what would it be? Devil. Yes, I was right about the LID. Okay, got that one. Now we come back over here. So presumably whichever letter from devil is the same from riled, which means the V and the R are incorrect. And then I placed one of these. And then I need a different letter from latch, probably. I don't even know where to go with this. I'm almost tempted to try to find new letters and see what I get. So I'm wondering if it's the A, oops, here. Maybe the D, let's see how this looks. That gives me the T. I mean, that fits the clues. That doesn't mean it's right. Uh, where does the T go then? I almost want to try gamut. I know it can't possibly be gamut, but yeah, I don't think this is right. I just want to see what happens. I'm actually curious. I have a little bit of room. Oh, okay. That reinforces my suspicion that the A is right and that I don't need, oops, and that I don't need any of these other letters. Interesting though. So the E can't be right. So it would have to be in the same spot as the A. So I, L, or D, what if it's the I? That's a reasonable pattern. So C or H, so I, oh, then the I, no, that breaks, because I need C or H and I also need I, so that's definitely wrong. So let's go back to A. We know for sure it's not the I or the E. So we try D, let's try L. That works. And then probably O, because I'm gonna need probably another vowel. So 
like that. That seems difficult. Unless it's that, and then I could use the N. It could be banal. Oh, oh, that was so good. You know, being misled by the colors. That was so good. There you go, I fixed it. Wow, I didn't expect that to be right. I'm really pleased with that. Wow, amazing. Okay, uh, well, I have the feeling doing four would take me quite a while. Ah, feel free to skip it if you're not interested, but I'm gonna give it a try. Making sure you can see that, looks good. All right, uh, so I don't wanna start with, I like to, like I said, I like to have 15 unique letters in the first three words, so. Um, how about, I rather like child is just one of the starting words actually. Takes care of a lot of useful letters, but doesn't use too many vowels. Well, pouty and uh, saner. That gets me all the vowels. That's pretty good. It's a saner, pouty child. All right, so now we see if anybody looks likely. We've got four of the letters here. We've got four here. We've got four here. Okay, so nobody there where there's all five. Um, so which letter in child is placed? I'm seeing like C-R-A something E, like crave. I think I might just try crave. No, but I think that C is right. In fact, I think the C-R is right. Although then I need the N and the S. How does that work? That doesn't work very well. Okay, so what if the R is wrong and the E is right? Still need the S and the N, but... Oh, I don't have enough vowels. Okay, I'm gonna try. Goodbye. <laughs> I still like the C, but let... maybe the A. Uh, what would come after the C, though? Nothing really works. I think the C could be wrong. If the C is wrong, then that means I place two letters, probably two letters from Saner. Oh, well. No, I'm looking at that wrong. If the C is wrong, then probably, what if I place the A and the E? That makes more sense. So it could end in A-L-E. Uh, Nave would be good, except it has nothing from child. Oh no, that would be too many in Crave, Never mind. Uh, this doesn't look great. What about... What if it's the H? Something H-A-N-E? But it would have to be a new letter. It would have to be a W, probably. Neither Wayne nor Wace is a word. 
I'm curious enough to try whale just to see what happens. Ah, okay, beautiful. So I'm very wrong. That's what I wanted to know. So it's not the A and the E, which makes me suspect I was right about CR, actually. But if I do that, I have no vowel. I mean, there's that's not a word. <laughs> that doesn't work. So I'm wrong about CR. So I think I might be right about the A or the E. Let's look at E. So maybe the I? What if it's R, I, something E? Oh, that seems much more likely. Brine? No, but closer. I think I'm right about the... So if it's an S, R-I-S-E. Nothing really fits there. Unless... Unless... Oh, then what else from Crave? No, it can't be the C. No, that doesn't work. But this is interesting. So I do think the E is right. In fact, I think the I and... Oops. I think the I and E are right. I think that was a good thought. But now I'm thinking maybe it's the N. No, it would have to be the N and the V. So it can't be the N. So this, I think, it, oops, is correct. Seems to be the only thing that works. But then I need the S. It would have to be R-I-S-E, so what comes first? The only letter I can think of that comes before that R is an A, and it can't be the A. I don't really want to waste more guesses by testing something that I'm not sure of. Unless the E is wrong, but I don't... Well, all right, what happens if the E is wrong? Well, then the I can't be right either. Oh no, it can't be the R, it would have to be the B. Oh no, it can be the R, what am I talking about? No, it, yeah, it can, never mind. Sorry, I was misreading that. Don't mind me, I'm just losing my mind. Oh, brand. That just fills itself in. Yes, okay, glad I double-checked that, not the E. Okay, good, got one. Oh, and that gave me a bunch of grays here. So I or E is in... The E could be placed here. In fact, that seems pretty likely. So let's try that. Oops. Stop it. Takes the I out, the C out. H or L. So not W. And then one from Pouty. I don't know very much. It could end in EL, kind of like that. Like. Something. <laughs> Something like that? That doesn't seem very likely, does it? I don't know. I mean, the E doesn't have to be right. This may not be the place to go. What about here? Child is all gray, and we have four letters here. 
Okay, so S or N has to be in because I only get one of R, A, V, E, and three of those letters are in saner. So if one of them is R, A, or E, the other one must be the S or the N. So here the green, I think the green has to be the B, R, or N, which takes the E out. Could be the N. Can't be the R because it would be green here. Okay, that's useful. So two of S, A, N. A is looking pretty good. And then I think the N. Let's try this. And then two from Pouty. So if it ended in like U, N, T, or O something N, T, but then the A would have to be first. I almost want to try agony. Does that fit? A, G is new, O is yellow, N is green, Y is green. Actually, that looks really good. Wow, I did not expect that to be right. That came out of nowhere. That was great. All right, now I've got more grays here. That E is looking pretty good. Oops. Okay. So it doesn't end in, oh, it still could end in E-L. T-E-L? Something like, actually, I don't know. Or H something like H. Expel. It's expel. Almost certain. Yes, uh, that was great. Sometimes you put the X's in and it just suddenly comes, just screams out at you. All right, we've got some contradictions here. So the E can't be in because it would be green here. Anything else? The A, same thing. But I think that's all. Oh, the Y. Oh, this is good. What about the R? Yeah, the R as well. Wow. Okay, so the C could very happily be green, so let's try that. And then maybe L after it? L is looking pretty good. And then I need a vowel, so the U, C L U, clung. Oh no, that's that can't be right because this N would have been green. Darn it. Okay, so this is this is wrong. All right, so what were my contradictions? I have to do this all over again. A and E. That C green, C being green looks pretty good. The Y was out. Is something else too? I know the N can't be fourth, which I wish I had double checked before hitting enter. Um, and it's not CL. It doesn't have to be C, but if it isn't, it can't be L. Could it be the oh, and it can't be the R. So it's narrowed down. I mean, it could be the V, but that just does not feel likely. I'm gonna stick with the C, unless I really can't find something. So it's not C H. It's not C L. Could be C O. Let's try that. Oops. C O colon? Does that work? It does, doesn't it? 
double check. All right, green C. O is green here and yellow here. L is yellow. O again, and then N is, actually, that looks pretty good. Yeah. All right, I think that went pretty well. I, I was a little stuck, but then once I pulled it out, I, I got it. Getting brand, just filling in like that, that was really neat. All right, well, thank you so much for joining me, as always. Thank you to my patrons, especially, especially, see, look at me, especially my <laughs> Explorer tier level patron, um, Shannon. Uh, I hope you all have a good weekend, and I will see you tomorrow for more word games. Bye for now.